Hello, and welcome to the Crime Gods YouTube channel. Would you like to be informed on turning points in crime history you've never heard of, and unheard tales of significant crime figures? Stay tuned. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the biography of the infamous Stanley Tukey Williams III. For more videos like this, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you. For more videos like this, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you. Stanley Tukey Williams, the founder of the violent gang called Crips, was born in New Orleans, Louisiana on December 29, 1953. His mother was 17 years old when she gave birth to him. Shortly after that, his father walked out on the family, abandoning them and leaving his mother to fend for herself and take care of him. In 1959, his mother packed up their belongings and decided to move to Los Angeles. She hoped they could live a better life than the one that they had in New Orleans. They left by a Greyhound bus on their way to a better life that didn't exist. The first area they stayed was the southern region of Los Angeles. His mother worked several jobs just to make ends meet, and it was hell to bear for Stanley and herself. As a child, Stanley was quite mischievous and would cause trouble in the neighborhood. He would always hang out in abandoned buildings where he watched adults engage in drug abuse, have dog fights, get drunk, amongst other things. After the dogs were done fighting, the adults made the children present fight each other, placing bets on the fighters. He gained the reputation of being one of the most vicious street fighters in all of the South Central region. This made him the target of older bullies and street thugs in and around his neighborhood. Finding the street more interesting than being at home, Tukey began wandering the neighborhood at age six. As the new kid on the block, Williams had to quickly learn how to defend himself from neighborhood bullies. At the age of 12, he had resorted to carrying a switchblade with him anywhere he went to protect himself. He often referred to himself as diseducated, a term he'd coined himself that meant the knowledge he had gotten from the streets and school. Stanley was expelled from George Washington Preparatory High School and was blackballed by several other high schools in the South Central area for fighting. Eventually, he became a regular at the Central Juvenile Hall. Thus, Williams continued in his reckless pattern until eventually in 1969, he was arrested for car theft in Inglewood and sent to Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall in Downey. While he was in Los Padrinos, he was introduced to Olympic weightlifting by the facility's gym instructor. This would go on to spark his interest in fitness and lead him to becoming considerably stronger and bigger upon his release at the age of 17. When the review board asked Stanley what he would like to do now that he was going out, he told them he would like to be the leader of the biggest gang in the whole world. Not too long after he was released, he was soon approached by Raymond Washington at Washington Preparatory High School after hearing of Stanley through a mutual friend. The friend had told Washington of Williams' toughness and his willingness to fight members of larger and more dangerous street gangs, such as the L.A. Brims and the Chang Gang. Washington was also incredibly muscular. He and his companions were dressed similar to Tukey and his clique, wearing leather jackets with starched Levi jeans and suspenders. Raymond was from South Central's East Side, where he was a well-known gangster much like Stanley and he proposed that they use their influence in their respective regions to form the larger Crips street gang. Stanley liked the idea and agreed to it. He said they started the gang to protect black folks in the area from other gangs, but later on, they became the very thing they swore to destroy, and this ultimately bred more violence. Soon afterwards, the Crips became the biggest gang in the South region and would engage in a wave of terror, causing other smaller gangs to either join or be flattened. Later, some gangs came together to form an alliance much like theirs, calling themselves Bloods, which resulted in one of the craziest gang rivalries to be known. Williams's formal rivals, the L.A. Brims and the Chang Gang, joined the Blood Alliance and became the Brims and the Englewood Family Bloods, respectively. As the leader of the West Side Crips, Tukey became the spearhead of a new wave of Los Angeles gang members that would engage in random acts of violence that would go on to affect both innocent lives and rival gang members. Tukey and his best friend Curtis Buddha Moreau actively participated in the activities that struck fear into both street criminals and residents of South Central, Watts, 
Inglewood, and Compton. His acts of violence became a fable in the criminal underworld of southern L.A., and on several occasions, he was brought to court, but the prosecution was never able to link him to any crime. They could never get enough evidence to support a conviction. In 1981, Tukey was tried on four counts of murder and two robberies to which he was found guilty and sentenced to death by lethal injection. He was sent to San Quentin. <laughs> fellow inmates alike. After spending six and a half years in solitary confinement, he claimed to have found God and filed for an appeal which was later denied. Tukey was executed in 2005 by lethal injection. Now that you know about the story of Stanley Tukey Williams, let us know in the comment section which other popular crime figures you would like us to feature next. Also, let us know if we missed anything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. Now that you know the story of Stanley Tukey Williams, let us know in the comments section which other popular crime figures you would like us to feature next. Also, let us know if we missed anything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications.